Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about angles and polygons, specifically how we can find the total number of angles in a polygon, how you can find the measure of an angle for a regular polygon, and also external angles of a polygon. So let's get started with how many degrees is in any polygon. So we'll start off with the triangle. I'm just going to tell you all triangles have 180 degrees. We probably already knew that. Any square or any polygon with four vertices, so for instance the square and even something like a trapezoid, those are both going to have 360 degrees. The next shape, the pentagon, is going to have, no matter what its shape, that was supposed to be a normal pentagon, but whatever, that's going to have 540 degrees. And how am I getting these degrees from? There actually is a formula, you don't have to memorize it. The formula is the total number of degrees, this is the total degrees, is equal to 180 times n minus 2, where n is the number of sides you have. So for instance, for a triangle, n equals 3, and you have 180 times 3 minus 2, and you get 180. As a matter of fact, I can predict what an octagon is going to have, an octagon. Octagon. Did I spell that right? It's probably octagon. Yeah, that's definitely right. That's going to have n equals 8 sides. And for the formula, that's just going to be 180 times 8 minus 2. That's the same thing as 180 times 6. And you can plug this in a calculator and you'll get 1080 degrees. So again, the total degrees is 1080 for the octagon. And obviously you can plug in any shape you want and you'll find how many degrees it has. Now, if you want to find the number of degrees for a regular polygon, we first need to know what a regular polygon is. A regular polygon is any polygon whose angles are all the same and whose side lengths are all the same. So for instance, for the triangle, it's going to be the equilateral triangle. For the quadrilateral, which is four sides, that's the square. And for a regular pentagon, you just have to make sure that all the angles and all the sides are equal to each other. Good enough. Now what's special about regular polygons is first of all, follows the same formula we just said, total degrees equals 180 times n minus 2. But if you want to find the angle of any one angle, so in other words, let's call this angle x, x, and x. Why are they all x? Because I said it's equilateral. They all have the same angle. If you want to find the internal angle of a regular polygon, you use this formula. We're going to say the angle is equal to the total angle, which is 180 times n minus 2, the total angle, divided by the number of sides or angles, because it's the same number. So divide by n. So for instance, for a triangle, it would be 180 times n minus 2, which we already know is 180 for a triangle, divided by 3, because triangles have three sides and three angles. So it looks like each angle is going to be 60 degrees. As a matter of fact, if we go back to the octagon example, for the octagon, we want to know the angle of any one side. We want to know the angle of any angle in an octagon. You would say the total angle, 180 times 8 minus 2, divided by the number of sides, 8. And we already said the numerator, that was 1080. Then divided by 8, and let's see what that gives us it gives us 135 degrees. So for instance, if I draw here an octagon, which let's see if I can do this. It's been a while since I've drawn an octagon. Okay, good enough. I'm saying each of these angles is 135 degrees. And if you add the eight of them together, you'll get the total, which is 1080 degrees. And so there we go, that's the secret for those. Now there's only one thing we need to talk about left, and that's external angles. The way we measure external angles is like this. Let me just draw a pentagon because a pentagon's a good example. If you have a pentagon, we would measure the sides of the external angles like this and we'll call it X. We'll measure this one, we'll call it X as well. Basically, I'm just going to keep on drawing these angles until I get all the way around to the other side. Now, you'll notice that there are five X's, in other words, five external angles, and if you add them all up, if you add them all up, you'll always get 360 degrees. So in other words, external angles add up to 
360 degrees. And that's true always. And then if it's a regular polygon, again, all the angles and all the sides are the same, then we would say each external angle is 360 degrees divided by n. So for instance, for the pentagon, 360 divided by five, each angle, each external angle will be 72 degrees. And by the way, one more fun fact for you is let's draw that pentagon example one more time and assume it's a regular pentagon, so all the angles are equal. We just said that the external angle is 72 degrees and we know that this must be supplemental with that internal angle. So in other words, 180 is equal to 72 plus the internal angle, which I'll make up a variable y. So 180 equals 72 plus y because they're supplementary. They add up to 180. So that means y must be 108 degrees. In other words, the internal angle must be 108. Is that true though? Well, let's use my internal angle formula, which again was 180 times n minus two, so five minus two, divided by the number of sides five, and you plug this in a calculator, and look at that, you get 108 degrees. There's another way of finding internal and external angles. But if you want my advice, just memorize the formula we already used. So that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.